stranded in a galaxy not so far away. Two astronauts speak about their experience for the first time after their mission didn't go exactly as planned. It was uh, trying at times. It was, uh, there were some tough times all the way through. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore blasted off on a test flight in June for what was supposed to be an eight-day journey on Boeing's Starliner capsule. When the going gets tough, and it often does, the tough get going. But after developing problems with its thrusters and a helium leak... Starliner is now backing away from station. The Starliner was forced to return to Earth earlier this month without its crew on board. Touchdown. This is the first time that we've had humans in space in Starliner and we did find stuff and um, you know we made the right decisions. Despite facing several more months in space, the pair say they harbour no ill will. Let down? Absolutely not. We are pushing the edges of the envelope in everything that we do. Williams and Wilmore will stay at the International Space Station until February next year. They say there's nowhere else they'd rather be. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. It's just fun. You know, every day you, you do something that's work, quote unquote, you can do it upside down, you can do it sideways. <laughs> so it adds a little different perspective. Eight days to eight months or nine months or ten months, whatever it is, we're going to do the very best job we can do. An unexpected space odyssey for a down-to-earth duo. Sammy Clare, ABC News.